How's it going everyone? I'm Crash Crash and good to say welcome back to another part of Pop of Scupria. So as you can notice I do have a lot of money and the reason why is because you know I just decided to get a sticker which is called Piggy Bank which means that you're not spending any money in the shop for seven days which is pretty pretty crazy but you know I, I was in the shop and I haven't I didn't find find anything and when I realized I was four days in I thought well let's just get the sticker so I'll be getting that um I don't suggest getting it very early on though because you would like to buy as much furniture and posters as you possibly can in the very beginning because if not the game is going to be a lot harder but anyway here we are at the sixth holiday in the game I believe which is baseball season so after we're done with this one we're, at, we're actually halfway done to unlocking every single customer and every single topping which is pretty crazy it's going by really fast and by the time I am recording this I have only uploaded some of the way you all toppings I believe so you can tell that I'm ahead by quite a bit but you know I, I like to be ahead I, I like to have a lot of videos out so I can just upload them because it's awful if you are not able to have one video up every single day which is my my goal for this series but anyway there's nothing uh, nothing special to say which is why I usually actually I do not comment now on these videos ex apart from the guiding ones like all of the sticker videos and stuff because they do require some commentary but you know we're gonna do our best to get a perfect day which I haven't gotten yet I've always been very close but at some point I do burn one cookie or something and then I I do not get uh, every single perfect so yeah let's try to do that right now although I think it's going to be quite a lot harder because I do not have any posters because of the, the, la the freshness the freshness issue is always so annoying but you know the only thing you really need to do is to change it up like once or twice during the holiday and then you can just keep it the same and for the rest of the days like in the the rest of the days you do not really have to change up anything all right so let's see what pinch says he's yet another perfect awesome so this game has become pretty pretty easy now even though it is slightly annoying having to scoop three ice creams and stuff it is pretty easy compared to what it was like in the beginning when the order station was absolutely horrible and it was so easy to get a really bad waiting score now though it's actually hard to get a very bad waiting score of course unless you do have furniture and posters and stuff but all of the alarms and the boost buttons and everything makes you know everything a lot easier than it was in the very beginning which is nice of course in a way in a way it's not that nice especially okay I thought I actually did forget to make those cookies nope and because of the lighting I actually do have some trouble seeing which color this is I... but Pretty, pretty light outside. The weather has been absolutely insane in Norway this year. We have been breaking heat records left and right. It was like 34 degrees the other day in Oslo. That is just insane. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely madness. One of the coldest winters and one of the hottest summers. Or, oh well. Let's continue here. Hopefully we will be able to get yet another perfect. Let's see. Okay. One, two, and uh, three. There we go. And the second order is now done. And we do not get a perfect. 99 on the waiting. That's very surprising. That's pretty strange. But oh well. Doesn't really matter. So here's Whiff. I believe this is the first time he's not a closer. Damn, I just struggle com <laughs> commentating these videos, man. 
it's it's so weird because it's all you always do the same. That has been my critique in the uh, my last Papa Louis videos when it comes to commentary. I guess that it's so hard to really think of something very interesting to say because you always do the same thing. I guess you need to tell some stories or something like that. You know. Because you are always going to be doing the same thing over and over, even though you have unlocked some new toppings. I guess we can take a look at that once we are done with this video. So yeah. Baseball season. Hopefully this is going to be my favorite holiday in the game. I really like that they did return with um, this holiday. I don't think... It has seen the light of day since when it was introduced, but I obviously can't can be wrong about that. I just know the pirate bash. It it was only in Papa's Cupcake Free, and they haven't they since they haven't had it as a holiday, which is pretty weird actually because I like pirate bash. But you know who knows what they have in mind in the next Papa Louie game. At least I'm very pleased to see that baseball season made its return. One of the one of the classics right there. And of course I was very pleased that Easter was not a thing in this one, along with St. Patrick's Day. At least I'm pretty sure St. Patrick's Day is not in this game. Which is nice. You do get tired of seeing the same holidays all the time because of Halloween will always be there along with Christmas, New Year, and Valentine's Day and stuff. Alright, let's serve number four, which is with. There's another perfect for us. That's nice, even though it doesn't really matter. Because we do have the. Okay, I guess I'll take Ravlin's order too. Yeah, we do have the sticker that we need to get 30 perfect. It's almost impossible not to get that one. Yeah, I would say it's uh, actually impossible uh, not to get that one at some point, because you will be getting a very decent amount of perfect eventually, and also it's gonna take such a long time to, to, get, uh, to get everyone on goal that you will, no matter what, to get all of the 30 perfects. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to some of the stickers, like serve the first customer last, and serve Quinn when she's arriving, and serve Whippa when she's arriving. Never been a fan of those. They can be slightly tricky, especially because you need to go back and forth between the menu and the game. Unless you do have memorized the orders, but the problem is with that though, is that their orders, they do change in every single holiday, because they do most of the time order holiday toppings, which is obviously different in every single holiday. So it's pretty hard to memorize all of the closers orders, I have not done that at all, even though it's not necessary, but it's quite tedious to go back and forth between the, between the menu and uh, the character screen. I mean, uh, yeah, between the game and uh, the character screen. And you also need to take a look at their order as well. At the same time, you need to make sure that you have the order ready exactly the moment they arrive in the, in the store, which is pretty wild, I'd say. So you need to start making their order very early on, and it does mess up with all of your other orders. So again, if you are... If you are go going to do that sticker, I suggest that you would just do it when there are no... I don't know, can I call that a special event? When the specials arrive or something? Do it when the specials are not arriving, because it's... There is a high chance that you are gonna make that customer unhappy because of the fact that you're stressing with Quinn or with disorder. Alright, so I believe... Okay, whipped cream... Whipped cream, peanuts, and pistachios, I believe. And then I, I didn't really see what was on top. Alright, pistachios. And then... Was it like a cherry or something? I mean, three cones, oh, no, one cone, alright. There you are. It is pretty crunchy indeed. Let's hope I did make these, these cookies. I, I do have a feeling I didn't. 99 again, very close to the perfect day. Okay, I didn't. 
Okay, it doesn't matter. The customer is not gonna be unhappy. But yeah. But yeah, I'm al always so close to g to getting a perfect day. Like I get five or five specials, and then uh, five specials. I mean, five perfects, and then the rest. You know, I get like 99 on the O station. That happens like never, never happens. That's one of the results when you're not, when you do not have any any posters in the store. All right, so thank God for the boost button, man. I did state in the very beginning of the game that it was just a waste of money to get this boost button, but eventually, obviously, should get it because it comes in handy when you have a decent amount of furniture and stuff. Also, of course, to get a lot of furniture, you you, ba you basically have to do well in all of the meeting games, which of course can be a challenge. Anyway, I haven't found any uh, hard mini games apart from Blender Ball, which has always been extremely annoying. Probably the hardest mini game that they have that they have put out ever. Maybe Spin and Sauce was even worse, but I do believe Blender Ball is is worse than Spin and Sauce at least. I would rank that as the hardest mini game they've put out. All those JoJo's Burger slots and, and the Burger Zilla was actually not that easy either. It's also quite annoying, but Blender Ball, nothing, nothing tops that. That's for me is by far the hardest mini game in this game and in general as well. Also, that is my biggest complaint about this game. If I'm, I am going to complain, I will complain about the mini games. It's only because all of the mini games they do have so much potential and w and it gets a little bit boring when they have the same exact setup and Mitch's mess, for instance, as they had they've had the last like five or six games or something. It is always the same setup and you know where everything is. It would be really cool. Okay, yeah, she waited for a long time. It would be would have been really cool if they actually changed the setup. So we do not know what to expect. That would be fun. Um, the same thing goes with some of the other mini games. At least maybe Slider Scouts. They could have changed that up a little bit too. Kind of similar to um, the app. But yeah. Well, speaking about Blunderball, here we have it. So we can try once. But to actually get this, I need to press. I need to get the ball to the the second highest one, which is pretty hard. Yeah, I failed that. I failed there. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Blunderball is not fun. But I do have a lot of tickets. The reason why is because I haven't gotten the special prize for any of the the mini games yet. But Anyway, that is going to be the very end of uh, this part, so um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.